The nation's highest court heard its first major gun rights case today in more than a decade. It centers on a New York law that restricts people from carrying a gun in public for self-defense. And our Washington correspondent, Jesse Chenner, reports on that debate now in our top story at 5. I lost a piece of me, but the fight won't let me stop. Gun violence victims and their loved ones shared their stories in support of the gun law before the U.S. Supreme Court Wednesday. We don't want to take your guns, but we need a law to save our children. They say New York's strict regulations of concealed carry permits prevent more Americans from being shot and killed at places they should feel safe going, like a grocery store, a park, or a school. We have a right to do so without the fear that our life will be ended by a bullet. Some of these could have been prevented by you know, people having the right to defend themselves. Gun rights advocate Katie Novotny has never had to use her gun in self-defense, but says she deserves the option. Self-defense is, is a civil right. Novotny argues New York's law takes that right away without reducing gun violence. It has just made it more difficult for law-abiding citizens to practice their Second Amendment right. The justices heard a similar debate from inside the chamber, where some of them questioned where exactly people should be able to defend themselves. If you're out in the woods, it's pretty unlikely that you're going to run into someone who's going to rob you on the street. Chief Justice John Roberts suggested the law goes too far. But Justice Stephen Breyer questioned whether guns belong at locations serving alcohol. There are plenty of statistics in these briefs to show there are some people who do know, and a lot of people end up dead. What the court ultimately decides could impact other state laws across the country. In Washington, Jesse Tenor, KCAU 9 News.